In this video, I am going to show you how to remove your old logo background. Either it is white background or any other backgrounds which already you have in JPEG or PNG format. After removing of your old logo background, how to save it in transparent format for future use. And I'll also show you how to apply 3D effects to your old logo. So let's get started. Go to File, Open. Open your old logo image, either you have in JPEG or PNG format. So here my logo is in a PNG format. So let me open it. Once you open your logo in Photoshop, now unlock the layer. After unlocking the image layer, now go to toolbar and from here, take this magic wand tool. And now select this layer and here click it. So it selected all the area uh, which is covered with white color. And now press delete key on your keyboard. So we have deleted the background with one click. Here again do the selection which remains in white color. You can see. And press delete key again. So however you can see the white uh, color background is remaining. Just select it like this and keep on deleting. And clean your logo. And here also I'll delete those. If you want to keep it, you can keep, but here I want to delete it so that it can give more attractive look when I will apply 3D effects to it. So now we, we deleted the complete background. Now these selections, let me remove it by pressing Ctrl D on the keyboard. Now the logo becomes fully transparent and how to save it in a uh, transparent format for future use. So go to File, Export, Save for Web. And fit it to the screen. And here you can see the uh, white background is showing here. But already our logo we are going to save is in a uh, transparent format. But here it is showing white background. So we need to remove this white background while saving. So for that, we need to select this PNG24. Remember this format, PNG24. So after selection of this, here you can see it is marked transparency. If you remove this, then the peak will be saved in PNG, but it will not be transparent. So you must have to mark it. And now save it. So here in desktop, you can give any name and just save it. So let me open our new image that we saved in PNG uh, transparent format. So let me open it. And let me delete this one. We don't need this anymore because already our logo is in uh, transparent format. Now we want to apply uh, 3D effects to this old logo. So for that, you need to open mock up file. If you don't have the mock up file, then check the description and download it. So here I'll apply uh, this this mock-up and double click at the top layer of the mock-up and drag our transparent logo over the new page of the mock-up and leave it here and make the logo size little bigger mark it unmark this original mock-up background now close the tab yes and once the mockup will be processed here, you'll see the 
3D effects of your logo. And now you can save it again by going to File, Export, Save for Web. And here you can save it in JPEG if you want. Or you can save it in simple PNG format. And let me save it. You can give any name. And if you want to apply different color to this background, you can also do it. You can add a new layer. And let's take this new layer add down. And now, by selecting this new layer, now go to uh, this option and apply solid or gradient color, whatever you want. So you can also apply solid color. You can choose different color, whatever you want. So I hope you understand all the steps I did and I'll pick more questions from the comments and come up with the new videos. Thank you.